Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vitor Ribeiro calls a stop to the match for your winner by submission via rear naked choke, Nicholas Marigali. Hey, how are you? I'm here with our, your winner, Mateus Marigali. Mateus, er, Nic Nicholas, Nicholas Marigali. So I'm all over the place. Look, <laughs> Nicholas Marigali. You were shaking your head there. Is there a reason why you're shaking your head? Is, is there something you're upset about within this match? Uh, not really. So I felt great, and I was trying to promote this fight a lot, so I said I would armbar him, and I feel like I'm in a position right now where I can do whatever I want to people, like not people, but my opponents. And But I didn't feel good, because I know how great he is as a person. We have some close friends in common, and once you start like uh, fighting here, I was like, man, this is not like the right thing to do. I felt I had the control. I felt I could have done what I was, pl what I planned to do, but I decided to not be a at least for today. So next time, probably I can keep promoting. If I'm facing someone that I have some personal problem, I will do what I, what I, what I say. So yeah. Well, you proved that you are the best key player in the world, and you've had this seamless transition into nogi grappling. What do you attribute that to? Well, so John Dennehy definitely is the guy who is upgrading my game. Uh, I couldn't be more thankful for him and also Gordon and Garitano from for opening the doors for me. So I moved to America two years ago and I was completely lost, basically. And right now I'm at the top of the world in the gi because last year I won the biggest tournaments of the year, the, the, the two, the two uh, biggest tournaments with off training, basically. I trained for two weeks for each tournament and I just destroyed everybody. And right now I'm the best in the world, also no gi. So I can literally tap any man on the planet and Gordon has his out. So he's giving me the spot of the best grappler in the world. And I'm doing my best to keep the submission rate pretty high and also making people understand the difference between one of the greatest athletes to ever do this sport, I'm in this list, and everybody else. It's just a different game. So that's what I'm improving. Well, I'm glad you didn't submit me for saying your name wrong. But I got to ask you, who do you want next? Because I follow you on social media, and I see you got some brash words for a lot of the big names everybody in the sport. So here's your opportunity to call your shot at who you want next. Well, so uh, this Thursday, last Thursday, kind of won the GPI BJF. He called me out. Vitor Hugo just did it. So I may compete against Mason. So I'm trying to compete against Craig Jones and Nick Rod, but they're not signing the contract. So I really want to fight Craig Jones. Why? Because I lost for him in HCC. I didn't have any experience uh, competing in Ogi. And he's just avoiding it. And at the same time, I have Nick Fraud asking to fight against me. And, but he never won a major title. Why am I gonna put my titles in line against someone that never won anything? And Victor Hugo smoked him three, four weeks ago. So he's not the guy up here to challenge me. So he's still building up his brand in the future. Maybe he can have a shot. But if he wants, as Craig, Craig Rod and Nick Jones, as they are a couple, if they want to face me, we sign a deal. I face Craig Jones here in May, and I face Nicky Rod here in June or July. I don't know when is the event, but yeah, I can face those two guys. These are the main names I want in my list. And whoever else is trying to take my spot, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry to me. I'm here for it, and I love it. This is Nicholas Marigali. Give it up for your winner, Nicholas Marigali.